I am Dr. Vaseem Sajad and today we try to learn the difference between visogenic edema and cytotoxic edema and how visogenic edema and cytotoxic edema appears on different radiological imaging modalities like MRI brain and CT scan brain. Now first we need to understand the mechanism of development of visogenic edema and cytotoxic edema. It is very important to differentiate between visogenic edema and cytotoxic edema because if we become able to differentiate whether this edema is cytotoxic or visogenic then we can reach to the diagnosis of different pathologies because some pathologies cause visogenic edema and some cause cytotoxic edema. Now first we need to learn the difference between the mechanism of development of cytotoxic edema and visogenic edema. Cytotoxic edema develops when there is failure of the energy dependent sodium potassium ATPase pump inside the cell membrane. When this energy dependent sodium potassium ATPase pump fails, then there is accumulation of sodium ions inside the cell. When there is increased intracellular sodium, the osmotic pressure inside the cell increases as compared to the osmotic pressure outside the cell. As a result of this difference in the osmotic pressure, the water moves from extracellular space into the intracellular space and as a result, the cell swells up and this appears as edema and we name it as cytotoxic edema. On the other hand, visogenic edema occurs when there is disruption of the blood-brain barrier means when there is disruption of the capillary endothelial surface which forms the blood-brain barrier then there is free movement of water from the blood capillaries into the extracellular space as a result there is accumulation of water inside the extracellular space and as a result the tissue appears swells up and it appears as edematous and we name it as visogenic edema. So as a radiologist we need to know by viewing an image we need to know whether this edema is cytotoxic or this edema is visogenic. Now visogenic edema mostly affects white matter of the brain and it appears as finger like projections with cortical sparing because the grey matter is less commonly disturbed in visogenic edema and the, it appears as finger like projections which mostly affect the white matter of the brain. Now on the other hand cytotoxic edema affects both the grey matter and the white matter and the cortex and the white matter are equally disturbed in cytotoxic edema. So that's the imaging difference between visogenic edema and cytotoxic edema. Now, visogenic edema occurs in trauma, in hemorrhage, in abscess or in tumors while cytotoxic edema appears in those diseases in which there is failure of the energy dependent sodium potassium ATPase pump like ischemia in brain stroke or ischemia there is failure of the energy dependent sodium potassium ATPase pump and cytotoxic edema occurs. So we can go from both ways either by viewing the imaging appearance of the edema we can tell this edema is cytotoxic or visogenic and then we can reach to the diagnosis of different pathologies because cytotoxic edema appears in different pathologies and visogenic edema appears in different pathologies. On the other hand, if we know the mechanism or if we know the pathologies, then we can reach to the other end that this edema is cytotoxic or visogenic. So in this video, we try to learn the difference between visogenic edema and cytotoxic edema, the difference between their imaging appearances and the difference in the mechanism of development of these two types of edema of the brain.